Hello everybody, this is for Swagger Studios RC again. Uh, today I'm going to be building a RC plane. Uh, I did do an episode on this, uh, and the result was cardboard plane. It doesn't have any motors or electronic inside it. The rotors aren't even on. I was just basically showing you some examples. But today, let me just put this away. I'm going to be showing you how to build a really cool RC plane. And I have all the, uh, all the, uh, well, diagrams and plans here, including some notes I made. Um, these diagrams are from, uh, is from, are from I RC Foamies. So these are not my plans. I, I've been borrowing these plans and I'm allowed to, like they're free. Uh, you go to www.rcfoamies.com and this is designed and tested by Jay Rothwell and Greg Streisky. Thanks a lot, guys. It, it's really, it's really helpful. Uh, and as you see here, I just printed it out in tiled form. And then I stuck the pages together. So this is like the actual size of pieces that are supposed to be. Uh, so this is a F15 MK2. Well, it's an F15. It's an F15. It's their MK2 version. Uh, and I think it's to be really good. Um, I don't have foam right now. So I'm going to be doing it with cardboard and uh, then I'll be doing it with foam if the cardboard works out. So yeah, I'm doing it with cardboard just to make sure it works and I'll be showing you as I do with cardboard then maybe in a month or two or three months or four months or five months or six months or a year I'll do it with foam. Yeah, so I'm just going to be showing you right now the cardboard. This video is going to be me doing it with cardboard and I'll do part two with foam. So this is uh, Wifer Studios building an F15 uh, MK2 by um, RC Foamies uh, part one with cardboard. Perfect title. Oh, and this was designed uh, 1st of August 2013. Really, these guys are good. Uh, they gave me so much information about the uh, model and specs and about and the setups and lots of diagrams. It's amazing, they're very good. Highly recommend you go to RC Foamies and uh, check their website out. Uh, there's also lots of other websites uh, showing you how to build planes with balsa wood. Uh, really cool um, diagrams and ideas. Seems some pretty weird planes out there. So anyways, let's get started and we're going to be starting on that table right there. Okay, let me make this a clear way for you to see. Oh and by the way, I'm not putting electronics in it right now. Maybe I will do that in another episode. This plane, I'm going to be using only the elevons. You could make uh, ailerons as well if you like. It doesn't really matter. Anyways, so first step, you're going to need your cardboard. You're going to need big piece of cardboard, big big piece. So I'll go get that. That's as big as cardboard gets. You don't get bigger than this. Well, you do, but this is as big as I'm going to get. Now. I'm going to separate it so it's easier to work with. I think this will be enough cardboard. This is going to be more than enough cardboard, that's for sure. That's for sure. Now, I'm going to give you some tips for working with cardboard before I start. Now, cardboard is a tricky thing to work with. Um, it, it, uh, the, the, the top part, it, it, it could tear easily if, it, if there's something sharp or like uh, solid. Uh, if you press on it, it will indent very easily. It's very light, and if you look at the ends, you'll see that there's little holes, you know? So most of this is actually air, if you think about it. Very, it's very little bit of it is, is like paper, you know what I mean? And the reason it stays up is because of these supports. They always go lengthwise. They rarely go crosswise. They rarely go widthwise. Very rarely. Um, unless you cut it to like with that, then yeah, go with twice, of course. I mean, normally it goes lengthwise to support. Um, so for pieces that you need to bend, you want the bending parts to be uh, along, like along the length, uh, the the uh, length, because these strips uh, bend easier than this way. And for parts you want to be very stiff. You're going to cut them, the parts you want to be stiff, you're going to cut them this way. That way, they're stiff. 
so that's one tip I like to uh, keep telling everybody for uh, working with cardboard. Anyways, let's get to this. First step, if you have a very big piece of cardboard like this, you're going to just split it uh, to pieces. Uh, if you have an axo knife or a cart knife like I do, it doesn't really matter. Just split it so then it's easier to work with. If you have scissors, it's fine as well. Ah, yeah, scissors is good. Scissors also work as well. Or I can use both, like I'm doing right now. I first did with the axle, now I'm using the scissors. You can also use a saw. Actually, this is easy. Way easier. piece of cardboard. Good. We'll just put this somewhere. Okay, so I finished cutting all the cardboard, they're all at the side. Um, some pieces of cardboard are bigger than others. So I'm going to use the biggest piece for the biggest piece. Exactly. So now I'm going to find, or not the biggest piece, the longest piece, because some of them are longer than others, exactly. So now I'm going to see which one's the longest piece, so I could use the longest piece of cardboard for that piece. Quite obvious, huh? This is 30, okay, so this is obviously the biggest piece, because this is 30, uh, 37, oh, 37, okay, so that's the biggest piece. Okay, and let's see what the biggest piece of cardboard is. So the biggest piece, which is this section here, is uh, way more than 37. So yeah, I shouldn't have any trouble at all actually. It should be smooth as silk. Smooth as silk. What I need to do is I need to put the paper on top of this so I can measure it up properly. That won't work. What I thought of being won't work. No, no, that won't work. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. Okay. So we're just going to put the, this here. And we're going to <clears throat> cut out the piece with a craft knife. Not right through. We're going to cut through the paper. We're not going to cut all the way through the uh, cardboard. You'll see. So we want to put it as low and as to one side as possible. That way I can save. Actually, you know what I can do? I'll cut out as much pieces of cardboard I can. Much, as much of the pieces as I can from here like this. So I think I can do, uh, let me see. Perfect. And now actually I can take the paper onto here, like that, onto the cardboard, so then the tape the pa the paper doesn't move while I am diagramming, while I'm cutting. And that should be about right. Uh, let me just cut this off so it doesn't bother me. I'll tie this down here. Tape, tape, tape it down. Tie it down. There. And it should be flat. Not extremely flat, but it's good enough. It's so good enough. It's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's only a cardboard model anyway. It's not like it's uh, expensive foam. That's actually exactly why I'm doing the cardboard first, so I don't waste money on foam. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's do this. Let me explain before I turn into fast motion. Um, so you're going to use a uh, axo knife like this, or a, it's a craft knife really. And you're just going to cut through the paper 
You don't have to necessarily have to cut through all the way, all, all the way through the cardboard. You just need to cut enough to uh, show an outline. Yeah. So that's all you have to do. Do it nice and slowly. That way you don't do a mistake. So I'm done. Uh, as you can see, I cut through the paper and slightly through the cardboard. Actually, you know, I could actually peel the card, the paper off now, um, revealing the full shape of the piece. Actually, I think I realized now this piece is the um, wing. I think this is the wing, the main part of the wing. Yeah, can you even see? This is where the stabilizers go. You know, little rods. Where you put the stabilizers, little pieces of metal, I think. I think that's what it is. Anyways, I took it off. Uh, I'm actually supposed to do two of these. So I'm going to finish cutting this out. And I'm going to make a second one of it. with another, Or actually, no, I'm just going to finish cutting it out. And then I'm going to continue with the next pieces. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Not bad, not bad for the first piece. Tell you, as I go along, it's going to get easier and easier for me. And for you, if you do this. So I'm going to get my saw. And uh, some of these... Uh, some of these are going. To, some of these notches are going. To, I'm going to need the scissor because they're very, very small and delicate, and they need a, you know, precise measurements. Oh, actually, it just came off. That's uh, cool. So I'm just going to cut off this because I don't need it. Okay, just for a closer look of how it looks like. As you can see, this is where I cut through with the paper. See those lines. It's hard to see in the camera. Uh, yeah, uh, there's cuts there. Actually, let me see if I could bring it down a little bit. There you go. See? That's where the paper, uh, I cut through the paper and slightly through the cardboard, making the good a good outline for it. Anyways, now I'm going to cut through, right through it. Uh, skipping the notches and the notches here, I'll just do with... Uh, Scissors. See, there's another design here. It's very strange. Uh, it's like this, like this, like this, like this, like that, and like that, and like that. Then actually here it goes up a little, and then this way, and then down a little, and then that way. Anyways, let's get to it. There we go, that is the first piece. This is the uh, left wing or the right wing, whatever one you really want. There's gonna be two of these, right? So <clears throat> this is the first wing and now I need to cut out a piece identical to this one. So I could do that now or I could do it after. I'll do it now actually. Um, I'll do it after, I'll do, this, I'll do that after, after I finish cutting up the rest of the pieces. So I'll put this to the side. Now get your uh, diagrams and then just put them back on. I'll just cut out this piece here because it's very small. And... There we go. So I don't really need that anymore. So I'll just leave it there anyway. And I'll just tape it down. Now we're just really cutting out the small pieces. Anyways, so. I'm going to finish cutting out this piece, these two pieces, this piece, and this piece, and this piece, and, and, and that's it. And then I'll get back to you. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright, so I finished uh, cutting it out with the uh, axe knife. Uh, let me show you closer. Yeah, I think it's clear. Uh, if I overshadow it a little. Yeah, it's hard to see, really. Anyways, so now I'm going to cut it out with the saw. 
and with the scissors and with the axe knife, uh, like cut out completely. Uh, I recommend for cardboard, uh, start with the smaller pieces and work your way to the bigger pieces because small pieces are more delicate. And the smaller pieces, uh, don't, you, have, you should, don't have to use a saw, you can use uh, your scissors. Uh, where did my scissors go? Anyways, let's get cutting. Hello everybody, it's Saturday now, and I finished cutting out the, uh, the pieces. Well, with everything I told you I would cut, uh, there's still that much left, and that as well. That's easy, that's really easy. Really, there's just those, yeah. Some of these that say 2x, or sorry, x2, that means they need, they, I've cut out two of them. So this one here, this one here and this one here. I need to cut out two of them. Well, we're going to just go through the same procedure, uh, putting the paper on top of a piece of cardboard and uh, cutting it out. And I'm just going to cut out the big pieces first, then I'll cut out the small pieces. Well, everybody, I'm done. I actually ended up uh, cutting a uh, trait like uh, cutting out with the axe knife and cutting out with the saw, like completely cutting out with the saw, uh, but all the parts. So all the parts are done. Let me bring them down so you can see them all. Some of the pieces have names on them, some of them don't. But anyway, somehow all these pieces are supposed to fit together and create a F15. Um. Uh, the F-15 is supposed to look like this. Uh, where is that paper? Oh, here it is. This is how the F-15 is supposed to look like. Uh, there's some more pictures online. I'm just going to go print them out and I'll be right back. Uh, so then I could only put together the plane. It's funny that they don't show any instructions on how to put all these pieces together. It would have been very helpful. Maybe they do, but I just missed it or something. Um, so basically it's going to be like putting a puzzle together. There are some... Uh, holes here that I need to cut out. So basically I'm going to be doing the hard part. Uh, by The hard part is putting it together, figuring out how it goes together by looking at the pictures. And it'll be easy for you because I'm already showing you how to do it. Alright, so I have the uh, pictures. Here they are. Uh, so that's basically the one, one new one view, yeah. And there's this one, planes upside down. So actually, I think there's a yeah, there's a uh, there's a huge there's a um, oh, fuse lives. That's that one. And then actually, those two other ones that I thought were um, also lower fuse lives, they're actually um, these uh, sort of air paths. I don't know what they're called, but I know their function. Anyways, and then there's this view. I don't think I'm going to be using this one. Maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, it's nice to string the layering. Maybe this will be helpful as well. Um, and there's this. Uh, this is helpful as well. I mean, it shows the layering of the wing. Some of the stuff around here. 
And there's this one. This is going to be helpful as well. Actually, I can see now that there is some sort of tab here. Maybe this or in here as well. Maybe these were the tabs that, they were ta that can be tapped. And there's this. Oh, that's the first one. Yeah. So those are the one, two, three, four, five. Five photos you could find. I'll send. I'll post the website on the um, on the uh, on the in the comments, so you will know where to go to find all the instructions. Anyways, I'm gonna get to work and start trying to fit this together. So these are all the pieces actually. I was able to fit them all here. So I'll start with the things that need to be folded, which is this one here and this one and these two which are the ones that need to be folded and the rest there is no uh, folding involved yes there unless for the canopy but that's nothing really I mean that can be done at the end I think so I'm going to move everything else from the table unless for these here let's start with this one because it looks like it's the easiest that it might be the lower canopy, I mean the lower fuselage. I think that's going to be easy. Start with easy, work our way up. Okay, so we have the lower fuselage here. Um, so it's supposed to fold this way, here, and here. Just so you notice that the uh, I should cut all the way to the dotted lines. Perfect. Now I'll just cut this one to length as well. And now I just need to fold these. Now I'll teach you a technique I use for folding. So I have to fold here and here. Now it's best to fold uh, in a straight line, right? So what I do is I uh, I put like something straight here and hard, and I press, uh, and then oh this is not really going to work. Let me see. You need a ruler. Use uh, like something straight and hard just to indent this area and that should when you press hard enough that should fold easily I didn't do it hard enough but yeah I did it hard enough and you see it folded nice and easily there we go uh, it looks like the lower fuselage the lower part of the fuselage um, I could be wrong though. Um, now there's supposed to be two, if you see in the diagram, there's supposed to be two holes over, three holes actually, along here. Okay, so I'm just going to trace them out, I'm not going to cut them right now. There we go. So I'm going to do exactly what I did for the other two pieces, then I'll come back to you. Yes, yes, yes. This is the lower fuselage. It is. I'm sure, I'm certain. This is the lower fuselage, the lower part of the fuselage. And the, uh, and the cockpit as well, actually. Well, the cockpit's sort of only on the top, really. Here's how it looks like, and let me tell you what the pieces are. I figured that out. So this is, as I thought, the uh, top fuselage part, as well as like the part that goes sort of down and everything. So you see, this is where the canopy is going to go, this area here, and this is the front of the plane, the top of the front of the plane. Pretty cool. It doesn't look very nice, does it? But it's fine. It's just a model, really. I'm not going to be putting anything. At least I don't think so. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. And this, as I expected as well, is the lower part of the, um, of the fuselage and like the plane itself. Uh, in the middle, the middle part. Uh, it basically goes like that. These two are the two air uh, air vents or whatever you want to call them that go on each side of the of the fuselage at the bottom at the bottom of the plane. Well, that's 
That's it right now. That's all I needed to uh, do. That's the only places that need folding and that had cutting. Unless for the wings, the wings need some cutting as well. But anyways, now let's try and uh, put this plane together. Oh yeah, so see all these squares, all these uh, rectangles I mean? These are, uh, you need to cut these out. Here we go, it's all done. Uh, I finished all the holes. That's it, that's all the folding, all the cutting I'm gonna be needing to do uh, for, uh, for this airplane. Anyways, now let's figure out how to put this together. All right, I finished uh, taping the end here and sort of this end here. Um, now, if you notice, the wings are sort of tilted downward. It's very strange, um, but there's a solution. Uh, you want it to be like that, right? Nice and straight. Even though the models don't really want to really fly. Well, at least I don't think so. Well, what we're going to do, if you flip it over, uh, we're going to place this rod here uh, through here. That way, we'll stabilize it. So what we do, just get a uh, something like this, just to make a uh, indentation in the wing. That's all you need to do. Slip this through. Uh, might be a little tough, uh, but it should go through. And just uh, tape it down. And there you go, nice and straight. Ta da! There we go. And now, um, let us attach the uh, air vent thing the bobs. Or they called to um, to the bottom of the airplane. 